Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in to part 3 of the series, How to Make a Game Like Valorant. Last video we covered triggering and swapping between character animation. In this video we're going to cover how to have your character equip a weapon, and then how to give that weapon an FPS feel. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you'd like to follow along on my game dev journey. Also, the floor is lava is coming soon, so don't forget to hit that link in the description and apply for the playtest. Playtesters will receive a founder's gift. Who could say no to free stuff? All you gotta do is fill out the application. Now, onto the video. In this video, we're moving beyond just the skin and bones game. We're adding the first real element to give it that FPS feel. A gun. You guys thought I was gonna say something else, huh? All good things come to those who wait. The gun is an extremely important part of this, and it's actually a little more complicated than just popping a gun in the hand of your character. So without further ado, the first thing we need to do is find a model for a gun that we're going to use. There are a lot of places you can do this. The Unity Asset Store is great, but seeing as I just discovered Turbo Squid, I gave it a try. Turbo Squid is a private asset store that contains thousands of models ranging from free to thousands of dollars. Possibly there's even some six-figure assets in there, I'm not too sure. Now this isn't an ad, I just found the ease of use and the variety available to be outstanding, so go check it out. Anyway, I searched for an assault rifle, filtered the results, and I found a suitable M16. Now I know it doesn't look like Valorant, but relax, it'll get the job done. So I locate the asset and it's pretty straightforward to download from TurboSquid. Just make an account, download the skin, and pick a good folder to save it in. Once you've downloaded your skin, you're going to want to import it into Unity. Make sure to drag the FBX and the skins that come along with it. That'll ensure that you don't have some odd looking textureless gun flopping around in your hand. So. Now that we have the gun, and it's looking fine if I do say so myself, we should place it in our character's hand so it moves with him. The method is simple, line up the gun with the character's hand and then make the gun a child of his hand. For this part of the tutorial, I'm just going to manually parent the gun to his hand, but you can also do this with a script. If you guys want the script, just leave a comment or send me an email and I'll help you guys out with it. After it's parented, the rifle magically becomes an extension of our character's body and our character magically transforms into a marine. This is my rifle! Now that we have the gun attached, our character looks fine when viewed from the third person perspective. Any other in-game characters will fear this gun-toting conservative, but unfortunately for us, where's the damn gun? In order to fix this unfortunate set of circumstances, we're gonna have to create a new camera that just renders our gun. It's not hard, but this is where the critical thinking skill comes in. Since this character doesn't have the gun aimed at his head height, we're going to have to superimpose his real gun onto frame. We can start this by creating an alternate camera, which we'll call the weapon camera, and we'll just change a few settings. First, we don't want it to display the skybox. We'll switch it to depth only. For the cooling mask, let's set it to nothing. If you choose everything, you can see that the cooling mask chooses what to render based on tag. Now let's set the depth of the camera to 1 and create a layer called weapon for the cooling mask and make weapon camera only render the weapon layer. Now in order to make this work, I'm going to create a copy of our gun specifically for the weapon camera. In the end, this gun will be linked to our character's movements and will be controlled with the script, but it won't be visible to anyone but the player. All you have to do is line up the gun with where you want it to always appear for your character. In an ideal situation, we would have the custom animations of our character raising the gun, but with this, like I always say, no arms, no problem. Now what we want to do is take this gun and drag it off the map. This gun will be for animations and UI, but the real functionality will come from the character himself. We can have this gun off to the side, but pay attention. If you move the gun and the camera together, the gun will stay localized on your screen. And there we go. We've popped our gun on the screen, and in the next video, we'll go over scripting our gun. We'll make it shoot and probably add some muzzle flash and some bullet impact animation. Thanks for watching this video. If it provided you any value, make sure to like it. And don't forget to subscribe to follow along on my game dev journey. Also, feel free to leave any questions, comments, or concerns, or whatever kind of content you want to see in the future in the comments below. Thanks. Bye.